Welcome to my channel. I'll be sculpting a piece from a 25 pound block of clay. I'm sculpting this solid and here I'm just adding a little bit of expression to the face. Adding clay bit by bit to get the overall shape that I'm going for. When you add a little bit at a time, you can really control all the little muscles and shapes. With this piece, I don't need as much detail because I will be carving the entire thing into a temple. And once I have the general shape that I'm going for, I will add a little bit more detail to the face, getting the expression that I want before I start hollowing out the entire piece by cutting the sculpture in half. If I had done this again, I probably would have segmented it apart a little bit differently. Once I had the pieces in half, I will hollow out the entire sculpture, just carving it out piece by piece. This process took about five hours to complete. With this piece, I carved out, leaving the wall about three quarters of an inch thick. This piece didn't have to be as thin along the edge because I will be carving it into an architectural structure. I slipped it and scored it, and then I put all the pieces back together, really ensuring that the seam is secure. I carve a channel and fill that in with a coil. This really secures the piece holding it all together. Again, I'm slipping and scoring, putting all the pieces together, making sure that it all lines up exactly the way that it was before I carved it apart. And now I will be adding hair, creating braids. This is a delicate process. It's pretty fun to sculpt braids. I highly recommend it. And before I attach the pieces, I kind of got a general idea of how I wanted the hair and went through attaching each piece. These are the tools I will be using. Here I'm measuring out the placement of the windows. I measured it based on the Fibonacci sequence, so each section gradually gets smaller. Visually, it'll be very interesting to the eye, especially since the pattern and the shape of the windows lines up with landmarks of the body. Here I'm just measuring out each section. I created 13 windows around the circumference of the body. I'm kind of eyeballing where I want the windows to be. I use the number 13 to represent the 13 phases of the moon that occur each solar cycle of the year and how those 13 phases of the moon directly correlate with women's natural cycles. And as I carve out each window, I get a general idea of the shape. I also created a 13 point crown. I had to remake the crown because I wanted it to also have 13 points. It's really important to attach each piece with slip and scoring and really securing those details. At 
this point, the sculpture was pretty dry. It wasn't totally dry, it was like leather hard and I was able to carve out the windows using an X-Acto knife. It's a great tool if you're wanting to create pieces that you can illuminate from the inside. Now I'm going back, now that I kind of have an idea of the windows, I can go back and add more of the hair. And once I have the idea of the placement of the hair, I can attach it and really secure each piece. I had to go through, once I attached all the pieces, and secure them by going in and pressing all the braids in and detailing each piece. The braids themselves kind of served as a general shape and I still had to continue to sculpt them and secure them to the sculpture. Hair is a relatively new thing for me to sculpt. I was pretty excited to add this detail. And now I'm beginning to sculpt the top structure crowning her with the walls of the top crown temple. It's a lot of slipping and scoring in this process and getting that piece on exactly where I want it. I did four arches to represent the four directions. And again, I'm just carving out each window of the crown. In her earrings, I did a mandala, which was actually much trickier to sculpt it on the sculpture. I'm just reinforcing the temple roof, going in and adding detail, and placing the roof on was so satisfying. I was so excited about that. Once I attached all the pieces, I had to go through and really just clean up all the edges and add the detail to the structure. At this point, the sculpture was getting pretty dry and I was just wanting to go through and add architectural details to the arches. Once I accentuated each archway, I brushed off all the excess clay and cleaned up the whole piece. That's it, that's the entirety of this sculpture. It will have to dry and I will make another video once I finish the piece. Thank you for tuning in. If you'd like to see more content like this, like and subscribe and comment on what you liked about this sculpture. Thank you.